Hey everybody, I'm DJ. Welcome back to Weird Beers and Cheers. Today, we're at the Iron Flamingo. The Iron Flamingo is located here at 196 Baker Street, Corning, New York. They opened in December 2014 by the Maurer family. They opened with the mindset to keep everything local and green. To accomplish this, they are using solar panels for energy for the brewery and also using local farmers around the Finger Lakes for their hops and malt. The Iron Flamingo is the first brewery in Corning to bottle and distribute their own beer. Even though Iron Flamingo is not a restaurant, that doesn't keep them from having food here for you to eat. They regularly have the area's best food trucks come at night. During the summer, every Wednesday, Burns Dog Pound Food Truck is here. And every Friday, Global, Global Taco is here as well. If that isn't what you're looking for, they encourage you to feel free to order out. With a spacious backyard, beer garden, outdoor seating, and games, it's fun for all during the warm summer days. All right, as you can see, I'm out back where all the magic happens. Back here, they have all the technology in the world to make sure they're giving you some of the best beer to offer you. But one of the things that they use is very primitive and pretty simple. I'm going to have Ben describe that to you. Ben Maurer, head brewer and co-owner down here at the Iron Flamingo Brewery. Uh, I was just uh, talking about our barrel age program that we have going on. Uh, we outsource our barrels from uh, Black Button St Distillery out of Rochester. Uh, we've done a couple with them so far. Um, right now we have a mocha coffee porter and uh, uh, an IPA actually in these barrels. Uh, they've been used once with our dark English ale and our red ale before. Um, in the back you'll see uh, two big barrels. Those are Cab Sour Barrels from Damiani Winery, uh, which we have a couple of farmhouse sours in as well. Uh, we're trying to slowly expand out our barrel program to uh, fill more and more orders uh, for now. Um, this is what we got. All right, now it's time to get back down to business. In front of me, I got a flight of some of their specialty drinks. Let's take a closer look on what I got. All right, for starters, we're going to start with a Belgian White L. This is only 6% alcohol content. The next one we have is a Blueberry Yum Yum Wit. That's, that's not their name, not mine. That's 8% 8, 8 alcohol content. The next one we have is what I'm kind of looking forward to is a Sweet Potato Stout. This is 6.1% alcohol content. The other one is an Imperial Oreo Oatmeal Stout, 8.5% alcohol content. And the last is going to be a Double Bourbon Barrel Aged Dark. Now this one is going to be one of the ones where they use those wood barrels Ben described to you about. And this one's going to be 10.2% alcohol content. Alright, start off with the Belgian White here. Smells like a typical Belgian. It's got that nice citrusy smell. My buddy Matthew hates it when I say everything smells like citrus. It's a nice good beer. Something good that you can drink with dinner, drink throughout the day, not have to worry about much, only being at 6%. It's, it's a good beer. Not bitter at all, goes down really smooth. Definitely a day drink beer. Drink throughout the whole day with this and not have to worry about anything, unless you're a lightweight. Sam's waving his hand back there because Sam's kind of a lightweight just a little bit. <laughs> all right, let's move on over to the sweet potato. Let's give this a shout. Or no, 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 I apologize. This is, uh, this is the blueberry. This is the blueberry, um, blueberry yum yum. <laughs> I can't say that with a straight face. Blueberry yum yum, where the hell did you guys come up with the name for this? Right off the bat, you can definitely taste the blueberry. And I can now understand why they call it yum yum. <laughs> I can't say that with a straight face. That is very good. 
soft on the palate, um, a touch of hop in the back of your mouth as you drink it um, for an aftertaste. Definitely a Belgium. At, at 8%, you wouldn't figure it to be 8%. Um, that's something that might be able to sneak up on you as the day goes on drinking this. Um, but the blueberries are really a good, a really good high note on it. Um, you get the blueberries right off the bat. Oh, and I, don't let me forget, they're local blueberries at that, picked right from around here, around the Finger Lakes. Keeping everything local. Yeah, that's good. That's real good. I don't really foresee a lot of gentlemen drinking that. I believe that might be a ladies' drink. Don't let me get wrong. I don't want any, I don't want any activists coming after me just because I said that's a ladies' drink. Let's move on to the sweet potato before somebody starts throwing tomatoes at me. It smells really good. Definitely a stout. Um, you're getting a lot of the, uh, I actually, I get smells and aromas of a little bit of chocolate off of that. Creamy, really good. Definitely a milk stout. I, I would figure it to be a little bit more alcohol content than 6.1, but that, that goes on real smooth. This, uh, this would be like a finisher night drink, something you would kind of have for like a nightcap or just after you're getting done eating dinner. This uh, is more of a dessert drink. Tastes really good. Definitely sweet. I'm not getting, I'll be honest, I'm not getting any of the sweet potato off of that. That could just be my own palate, but it, it, nonetheless, it's still a really good sweet beer. So now let's move on to the Oreo oatmeal. Um, this is an imperial stout. Uh, let's see how this goes. Definitely smells sweet. I definitely get the aroma of Oreos off of it. If any of you know what I do for a day job, then you definitely know I know what uh, sweet things smell like. Tastes like Oreos as well. That is, that's really good for an oatmeal stout. And also again, I want to apologize. I got my phone in my pocket and you can probably hear that going off. Highly embarrassed about that, my apologies. That is very good. That is a very good sweet stout. Never would figure that to be an oatmeal stout. I would kind of picture this off to be a, um, this to be more of a milk stout. Sam, can you take this from me, please? I'm pretty sure. Thank you. Work's always calling, work's always texting, so I do apologize for that. That is very unprofessional of me. Also, I'd like to apologize for all the background noise we are out back where they're doing all of their work at, so you are gonna hear a lot of, uh, you're gonna hear the walk-in refrigerator, you're also hearing the dehumidifier, you're hearing a lot of things going on back here. That's just part of how the business goes. All right, moving on to the last one. Last but not least, this is the Double, bur double Bourbon Barrel Aged Dart. Now, this one to me appeals to me the most because I, I haven't seen beer held in the uh, wooden barrels like that before and I love that they do that to give their flavor and to also help take down a little bit of the bitterness on some of their sour ales as well. So I'm looking, really looking forward to this and uh, hoping this goes down good. Definitely get the aroma of the bourbon. You, can, you get that right off of the bat. That is remarkable. I, I, I can't. <laughs> I 
that is damn good for a bourbon for a bourbon barrel beer i i, I it it tastes like bourbon it, it tastes like a, a slightly carbonated bourbon you definitely get you, you you get that imperial dark taste to it that's very good very good and at 10.2 percent i i would almost think this would be like your two glasser and then you probably have to call it quits on that sam take a sip of that we're gonna have sam take a sip of this just like we did with the mary jane i was highly impressed with the mary jane but this right here is damn close to it Oh wow. Yeah, that's that's really good. Yeah. It, to drink a beer and have it taste just like a bourbon is just kind of a little bit mind it, it messes with your mind a little bit, but it goes down the palate so well. No bitterness, the sweetness of the bourbon, very good. Yeah, it, I mean for me like I get like a little bit of a twinge every now and then for like when I drink. That is so smooth that it's just perfect. Absolutely perfect. And that's a lot coming from Sam. He's a... Uh... If you saw the Mother's Day video, you know. <laughs> that, that, damn, that's damn good. Yeah. That's yeah. very good. All right, everybody, that concludes our show for today. I want to remind you all to make sure you smash that like button, and even more important, you subscribe to the channel. Right now, I'm going to grab a growler of, that o of the Oreo. This is some good stuff. Going to give this to Sam, and I'm going to see you guys on the next show. Yeah.